Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing fine and are taking care of yourselves. My name is Kanika Tandon. As your unit tests are over now and I'm hoping that your tests went really well. Uh, we have resumed your online YouTube videos. So I'm here with the video of class 6 English grammar. In our last videos that were uploaded before unit test, we have completed till chapter number 6 because uh, till chapter number 6 it had to come in your unit test so today we are going to continue uh, with the rest of the syllabus for half yearly so uh, in today's video we are going to cover chapter number 7 which is the noun gender starting our today's video with chapter number 7 the noun gender so basically gender, gender is uh, something that tells us the uh, that tells us the representation of a noun how the noun is represented whether it is a it is a male or a female or is it a common or a neuter or is it a non-living thing or a common thing that cannot be uh, put in a under a category of a male or a female so basically gender has four uh, forms first is masculine gender second is feminine gender third is common gender and last one is neuter gender so we are going to study about them one by one so first let's let us study about the masculine gender so all the nouns that falls under the category of male section or the masculine section those are known as masculine gender for example boy uncle mm, dog man right these are father or a brother these are what these falls under the male section whenever we hear the word brother we already picture it uh, picture him as a boy right so these are what these falls under the category of um, uh, male sec th these are uh, these comes under male section so these are masculine gender similarly when the noun falls under the female section or female category or uh, uh, feminine category that is known as feminine gender for example woman aunt uh, bitch hen mother sister these are what these comes under the masculine oh sorry uh, these comes under feminine genders these are females right similarly common noun is actually a noun that cannot be um, categorized as a male or a female just by listening its name some in male and female gender what happens whenever we hear the name or if we say ki my sister is coming we can easily understand that okay uh, his, uh, his sister is actually a female all right but uh, similarly it is in male for example my father is going somewhere so when we hear about father we already understand okay that this uh, he is talking about a male person but in common noun what happens when we speak the word we don't actually understand uh, understand whether he will be a boy or a girl or will come in a male section or female section until and unless we hear something that actually categorizes it as a male or a female for example if i tell you that uh, i have i have visited a doctor okay so you cannot understand with the word doctor that whether the doctor was a female or a male and if i say that i went to dr smita so you can easily understand that she is dr smita is a lady doctor with its name right uh, and uh, it will at automatically fall under the category of female section all right similarly if i tell you that i am going out of your class and some other teacher is coming you cannot understand with the word teacher that who will it be a gents teacher or a lady teacher will it be a sir or a ma'am so until unless i tell you that uh, um, uh, priyanka ma'am is coming you cannot you will not be able to understand uh, whether the whether a sir will come or a ma'am will come come and if i have told you that priyanka ma'am will come so you can easily understand that okay she is a lady and she will be coming so these are common noun for example parents students teacher painter artist so these are the words by if which with which if we listen we will not be able to understand easily whether okay uh, what will be the gender of this particular person similarly last uh, sorry and the last one is neuter gender neuter gender is actually what all the non-living things book water knife tree pencil eraser specs book uh, almira cupboard 
these are what these are non living things so these come under neuter gender now with this the main of the explanation part is over of the chapter now we will uh, study how do we form the feminine form of the noun so there there are some rules that you have to follow first one is by adding e double s so these some are the words in which masculine form the feminine form is formed by adding e double s with the word for example priest becomes priestess author become authoress poet poetess hair heiress host hostess lion lioness similarly some are uh, formed in slightly changed before ess is added in and in some what happens the main the last vo vowel of the word is removed for example tiger the spelling of tiger is t i g e r so g e r what is the vowel here e so e is removed and ess is added similarly hunter becomes huntress actor become actress duke become duck duchess master become mistress and waiter become waitress all right second is by using an entirely entirely different word we can also use entirely different word for example boy we cannot write boyess or uh, any other thing so we change the whole word this boy becomes girls sir become madam king become queen father mother cook cock hen uh, dog bitch husband wife nephew niece drake dog boar or so next is by changing a word before it so what we can also do we can change a word before for example we are changing sp uh, uh, sparrow into feminine gender so uh, the male the male is called cock sparrow so the female will be called hen sparrow similarly boyfriend becomes girlfriend bull calf becomes cow calf man servant becomes maid servant and similarly next is by changing the word after now we can also change the word after this is for for example grandfather becomes grandmother landlord becomes landlady milkman becomes milkmaid merman becomes mermaid peacock becomes peahen washerman becomes washer woman now there are some exceptions also which does not change at all or there are some other thing that changes for example bridegroom bridegroom is what the person who is getting the boy who is getting married so he, he is the bridegroom and the girl who is getting married is called bride is he fox vixen hero heroine viceroy viceroy widower widow for foreign language bu becomes belle kazar becomes kazarina executor becomes executrix or executress proprietor becomes proprietrix signer becomes signora sultan becomes sultana now if we study about has the list of some nouns of common gender now Uh, they have given a list of nouns that are common for example artist athlete baby bird child doctor driver enemy foal friend lawyer neighbor officer orphan parent relation servant sheep sibling and singer with this uh, the explanation part of the chapter is over let us come on to the exercise of this chapter choose the correct option a noun that refers to a male is said to be a masculine gender common gender denotes both a female or a male all right now question number 2 write the opposite gender of the following we have to write the opposite gender that means if if um, masculine gender is given you have to write feminine gender and if feminine gender is given you have to write the masculine gender so king is queen peacock is peahen duke duchess mayor horse fox vixen actor actress and we have to make sure that you write the actress spelling correctly it is a c t uh, r e w s because here vowel is o and which is removed so a c t r e w s priced priestess bride groom milkman milkmaid widow widower now 
Rewrite the following sentences replacing each underlined noun with a noun of opposite gender. So what we have to do, we have to write, um, read the sentence and the nouns that are underlined, we have to write the opposite of their gender. Uh, in this, I have written only the answers, but you don't have to write like this. You have to rewrite the whole sentence. So the princess is extremely beautiful. So now, uh, the opposite of princess is prince. So the prince is extremely beautiful. The dog is chasing the hen. So the bitch is chasing the cock. She has starred with many leading actresses. So it is, she has starred with many leading actresses. The headmaster looks after the school. So the headmistress looks after the school. At the zoo, we saw a tiger, a lioness and a vixen. So at the zoo, we saw a tigress, lion and fox. An emperor passed this way with his army. So it is an empress passed this way with, her, with his army. Here, they, you have to use her because the subject is uh, in feminine gender. So, you have to use her. Here, for his, you have to use her. She went to stay with her aunt for a few days. So, she went to stay with her uncle for a few days. The inspector paid a visit to our school. So, the in inspectress paid a visit to our school. The hunter aimed at Drake and shot it. So the huntress aimed at a duck and shot it. He is a great poet and author. So he is a great poetess and authoress. Coming on to the next exercise. Word game. Tickle your brain and search the relationship across, down or diagonally and write the opposite gender of each. So what we have to do in this question. We have to f first find the words in this uh, um, crisscross I don't know game so first I have to we have to write the words like wife brother ma mother nephew papa mom and bride and then we have to write the opposite of the following so the opposite of wife is husband brother is sister mother is father Nephew is niece, papa is mama, mom, dad, bride, groom. Next is complete the word ladder using the given clues. So we have to complete the ladder by giving using the clues. So first is feminine of fox. What is the feminine form of fox? Vixen. So we have to write V-I-X-E-N. Second, feminine of nephew. The opposite of nephew is niece. So N-I-E-C-E. Feminine of Emperor, Empress, E-M-P-R-E-S-S. -S. And last is Feminine of Poor is So, S-O-W. And if you find any kind of difficulty in understanding what I have written here, you can also use, uh, you can also turn your pages back and uh, see the answer from there. See the spelling of the answer from there. Coming on to the next exercise, which is the last one. And this is going to be your homework. Give opposite gender of the following. Choose your answer from the word bank. So here some words are there. There are 10 words. Patroness, waitress, niece, lady, duchess, belle, duck, vixen, widow and tigress. You have to find the answer from the help list that is given above. So this is going to be your homework. And if you won't be able to do it, you can turn back the pages and look from there. Learn and then write. And you have, you don't just have to uh, learn the uh, exercise part. You just go through your pages. You go through the examples also and learn them. Because even if they do not come in the exam, they are going to help you in your future life. When you speak and when you communicate in English. Alright. So with this, our ex uh, today's video is over. I will be come seeing you next week with the with next chapter. That will be the adjectives, I guess. Yes, the adjectives. So, till then, keep studying and do complete your work. Start learning. And I'll see you all in my next video. Till then, take care and keep studying.